A new 3D imaging tool that debuted at SPAR International 2013 drew attention for its simple design and low cost. Composed of a gaming system sensor and an Android tablet running proprietary software, the handheld device captures 3D data in real time and quickly generates usable models. The new technology is priced at under $5,000 for the entire package, which is considerably less than other commercially available 3D imaging devices. Brian Ahern, CEO of the startup Dot Product Technologies, explains how the technology works. We are a software company that make this off-the-shelf uh, imager and the tablet work together. We take high frame rate 3D data that cameras like this produce and we process them very efficiently, very quickly, giving the people uh, that use them real-time feedback while they're in the field. They can see their point clouds that they capture right in the field. This particular sensor is made by the same manufacturer that produces the Kinect. However, we do work, we're hardware agnostic, we do work with other imagers, um, predominantly those that are in the um, research and development phase still today. But our solution is a software solution to make these things work together. You give us high frame rate 3D data, we process it very quickly using only the power of a tablet computer. We have some really, really cool algorithms to, to basically, if, if you were to take this raw data, yes, it would be very noisy. Um, we even show you the raw data. It's our algorithms use that sensor, among other things, and we process that data in a way that give you accuracies comparable to the traditional laser scanners. We're up to a range of about 12 to 15 feet with this particular imager, we're getting accuracies in the, in the 4 to 6 millimeter um, realm, which is kind of what we shot for. It's the standard um, uh, project for laser scanning. There are a lot of people solving 3D imaging, high frame rate 3D imaging. The beauty about we, what we are as a software company is we're open to work with any of them that are trying to make their device mobile.